technology has changed in three ways. One is software has changed. So blogging software has allowed more people to spread information, publish information, and get out to other people. Secondly, videos. Um, so hardware has changed so that uh, hardware like iPhones allow people to capture video and take pictures and upload them to the web um, and share that information. And thirdly, I suppose um, websites themselves. So social media, uh, new new technologies have allowed people to create complicated websites such as Facebook and Twitter, which means that they can. Um, consume information differently so now people are less interested by getting their information from the front page of a newspaper website and more from getting information from Twitter and Facebook and so that means you can you know consumption of news itself has changed and journalists have to respond to that I choose um, I use my phone um, which has applications which I can use. I use my tablet which also has lots of applications I can upload and directly to the web and I can also do some programming on there and of course I use my desktop computer which allows me to do more complicated tasks like photo editing and, uh, and complicated programming. Well it was the, my tablet which I recently bought and I used it to up, update a, an article uh, um, from there and also to write some piece of small piece of code um, from there as well so I have the software to do that and to upload directly from my tablet to the web what I would want is somewhere to record an interview and then have software to transcribe it into good English uh, like instantaneously for me rather than having to transcribe recorded interviews yeah, I would say learn HTML because HTML is the basic building block of the internet and if you learn HTML you can you know, be much more flexible with online journalism and, and really it should be the basic for, <coughs> for journalism courses now I think.